This is how I mask out the building on my previous day to night video to create a light spawn effect. Aside from the famous Adobe Photoshop that provides masking of an image, actually for Windows operating system users, there's a software, I think it's already pre-installed if you are using a Windows 10, that provides masking of an image as well and some other basic stuff. I put the link in the description below if you can't find it and wish to install it. And the best part is, it's totally free. Please do consider like this video if you find it useful and do subscribe for future notification. So let's get into it. Locating the software in your Windows PC. Look for a search bar, type in Paint 3D. In my case, my text bar setting was modded to looks like an older version of Windows, so it might look different from yours. Open up the Paint 3D, select Open, Browse Files, and locate the photo you want to do the masking. Right click the photo with the mouse, scroll to Open with Paint 3D. If for whatever reason it is not listed, you can select Choose another app and look for Pen 3D and click OK. Right click the photo you want to mask and select Edit with Pen 3D. How to mask an object. Once you have a photo or image open in Pen 3D, this is how it looks like. Now select the magic select at the top left and a highlight will appear. The add white dots is where you can move the highlight and minimize into the object to communicate with the software which object you wish to mask out. Minimize the highlight to the object as close as possible. Basically, you can mask out anything you want by highlighting it. You can zoom in by selecting the plus sign at the top or by scrolling your mouse wheel. Once you think the highlight is sufficient, now click on the next button on the right. You will now see that a free draw highlight has been automatically applied to the image you have highlighted. Sometimes it does not do very well, mainly because of the color tone contrast. You can still make changes by selecting the 8 button on the right. This will give you a free draw pen. Start by drawing the part of the image you wish to include in. Don't worry if you accidentally overdraw it or there are some part of the building that you do not want to include in. You can select the remove button on the right and start removing the highlight or part that you do not wish to include in. Or you can click Ctrl Z on the keyboard to undo or Ctrl Y to redo. Once you are satisfied, do double check just in case. Now, you will see that this auto fill background is checked. It means that when I remove this building from this whole image, the software will automatically duplicate some image to cover the area of the building that has been masked out. If you uncheck the auto fill and complete the process, it will then leave an empty canvas or shape there. Depending on which effect you want, in this video, I will let it check on the auto fill background. Now click on done. The building are now masked out and you can move the building to any way like a sim city. I just leave the building outside the universe for a while. If we look at the photo now, it is not so obvious that part of it is missing if this photo is viewed from far away on its original resolution. But once you zoom in, you can see the building spot has been filled by some blurry trees and stuff. So you have few options here now depending on what is the outcome you are planning. You can directly copy the mask building by right click, copy or control C on keyboard into any software that support direct image copy and paste like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel and stuff or even to another image. Or if you want the entire image and not the building, you can delete the mask building by right click select delete or press the delete button on the keyboard now you can save your image by going into menu save as image locate the folder you wish to save into type in the file name and click save and if you want only the mask out building use your mouse cursor to highlight the entire image right click delete and on the top selection go into canvas transparent canvas turn on Move the building into the image, space or canvas. You can also crop or resize the canvas if you want. Or you can resize the mask building, rotate on X, Y and Z axis. After you are done, you can proceed to save this mask building. Again, menu, save as, 
image. Make sure to save it as PNG file as JPEG do not support transparent background. And then click save. Select your desired folder, rename it if necessary and save. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.